Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel today. My name is Leah. I'm a licensed massage therapist out of Baltimore, Maryland. I own my own massage therapy business called Kinetic Remedies. I've decided to start my own YouTube channel to inform the general public about different healing techniques that can be used on a daily basis to help one to align with their truest self and to clear negative energies by facing them rather than numbing them. In addition, I will be talking about different yoga techniques, meditation, chanting, and different therapy practices that can be used to heal the body on a physical, spiritual, emotional levels. Before I begin this experience of becoming a YouTuber, I want to explain to you all a little bit about my background so you know exactly where I'm coming from with my knowledge. I have been practicing massage therapy for seven years now. I've been a, an avid yogi for six and I have had a license in physical therapy assisting for two years. However, I'm not currently in that practice because it, um, I found that the clinical setting was not the best for me. I am a more of a holistic practitioner with a clinical influence. So I decided to start my own practice in 2015 where I'm incorporating all different types of styles of therapy including deep tissue, myofascial release, Thai massage, cupping therapy, and the knowledge of the anatomy and postural structure from physical therapy. The body is made to move and a lot of the times we get these tight muscles that prevent the joints from working in their full arc of motion. So what I do is I look at people's posture and I identify which muscles are in a shortened position, which muscles seem to be elongated. And I will focus on those points and release a lot of what they call uh, trigger points or using deep tissue to help open up the muscle fibers and to allow the sarcomere to gain its, regain its elasticity which helps to bring the body back into more the anatomical position, which is shoulders back and down, hands are forward, rather than this rounded position that generally happens to us over time. So that's just a little bit about my work. This year in October, I visited Thailand for two weeks. I went there to study traditional Thai massage, where we were taught about the 10 Sen lines which are similar to that of meridian. Energy flows from the gut, from the solar plexus, down the lines through the body and into the extremities. So we learned acupressure techniques to help um, address the tightness along those lines. And we also learned passive stretching techniques for the full body to help open up the channels, um, including the chakras, open up the tight joints that people experience um, from constant positions that are uh, in seated or sitting in a car, um, they're standing for long periods, the, the body adjusts to these positions that we find ourselves in. So we were taught how to um, stretch the body in various positions, much like physical therapy, but more of holistic style to help promote overall healing in the body. This is also a very deep technique for releasing energetic blockages that have accumulated over our lifetimes. So a lot of, a lot of people experience emotional releases during Thai massage treatments because they have these um, clusters of stagnant energy locked up in areas of their body. So if, for instance, if the, the gut is being massaged, a lot of us have stored energy there it can loosen up some of these old feelings that have been dormant inside of us and they arise to our consciousness. We process them, have an emotional release and it passes. And then we can kind of move forward with our lives and um, <laughs> face the next challenge. In addition to what I talked about earlier on in my first video here on YouTube, I also want to get into some of the things that happen in our past 
that influence the people that we've become and how trauma from our past and from usually from our childhood can dictate the life experience we have if we're allowing the traumas that we've never resolved in, within ourselves to dictate our life experience. Over time, what will happen is people will tend to do things that novocaine these feelings we have about our past because we're not ready to face them such as we will drink alcohol, we will have, um, we'll do drugs, we will be promiscuous, which things, you know, that could be okay in moderation. However, we're using these things as coping mechanisms to dilute our, in, uh, dilute our consciousness from experiencing these feelings from our past. But the feelings from our past if we are not, if they're not processed, if we're not processing them, they will be stored in our bodies and our external experience will mirror back to us what's internally unresolved until it brings it to our recognition, until we make the conscious choice to feel these experiences, these former experiences through and to process them and to release them. So we're basically walking around like time capsules of our past until we've decided that I'm going to do the work, I'm going to feel through these emotions and I'm gonna allow them to pass. I'm going to move forward and I'm gonna become the best version of myself. So this is another topic that I'm going to be going over in my YouTube channel as well um, to bring awareness to how much impact trauma really has on our lives. Um, I don't know a single person in my life who has not had trauma and many of the people that I know have no awareness of their trauma um, and it's allowing, it's, it's basically dictating how their lives are playing out. Um, and once you decide to do this type of work and face face the heaviness within yourself, it will free you up tremendously. And then you can start moving forward and aligning with the truest version of yourself. You can create the life of your deepest dreams where you are doing what your passion is, but you're also helping other people to realize that they are capable of creating the life of their dreams as well. So thank you for watching my first video. I really look forward to this project. I have so much information to share and I am really looking forward to diving into it with you. It means a lot to me that you've spent this time with me and let's uh, get into it. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.